Hi, I'm Dr. John Duyard, and welcome to LifeSpa.com, where we prove the ancient medical wisdom of Ayurveda with modern science. And today, I want to talk about iodine. You know, everybody is more concerned about iodine because of the nuclear threat, and I want to dive into that research in detail. But also, there's some amazing new research about iodine that very few people know about, and you really need to hear about this. So please stay tuned, watch this video. If you like the video, you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you want the research and dig into details, go to my website, read the article associated with this video, and while you're there, sign up for our newsletter, and on your way out, check out our Ayurvedic store at lifespa.com. Thanks for listening. Okay, you guys, so iodine. Um, first of all, before I dive into the, the research on iodine for radiation, I want to and also talk about the research on iodine for cardiovascular health and the research on iodine for metabolic health, which is your triglycerides and cholesterol levels and your blood sugar and all that. I want to talk about a couple of other things, like how, how prevalent this deficiency is. Iodine deficiency affects 2 billion people around the world. 50 million of them are having symptoms because of their iodine deficiency. Unfortunately, it affects mostly, mostly lots of folks, but women of childbearing age are most affected because the iodine levels saturate or concentrate rather in the breast tissue two times more than during the regular when you're not actually pregnant or or, or lactating. So the number, the amount of iodine that women, when they're carrying a baby or lactating, is just twice as much as it normally is, which is really, really important to understand. And women have, um, I wrote an article called Protect Your Breasts, all about the research on how iodine can protect the breast tissue from uptaking toxic estrogens, and how studies show that just one to three milligrams of iodine per day can protect your breast tissue from iodine, which is really important. What I recommend doing for my patients in that article is to take just one of our iodine HP, which is half iodine and half iodide, which is important. I'll tell you why that in a minute and take one of those every two weeks, so you get about one milligram per day, but you get a big dose of iodine, like a big shrimp dinner, and what that does is it flushes out all the toxic halogens like fluoride, bromide, and chloride out of your thyroid, which is really, really important. So that's, you gotta read that article, Protect Your Breasts, go to my website at lifespot.com and read that. The elderly are also affected. In one study out of New Zealand, 309 uh, the elderly folks were, were evaluated for their iodine deficiency. 50% of them had uh, a mild iodine deficiency, and 30% of them were actually deficient. So it's really prevalent. In another study with 6,000 Americans, they found that the number one cause of iodine deficiency was people not eating bread, uh, not eating enough eggs, not eating enough dairy, not getting iodine supplementation, and not having iodized salt. In the last 25 years, the amount of iodized salt that's been consumed on our planet is down 65%. And that's a big deal because they also took the, the iodine out of the, um, out of the dairy industry and the meat industry. They used to use it to clean the equipment. It's all used to be used as a dough conditioner for bread. Now they actually took it out and they put another halogen in it called bromide, which is actually toxic. So really be careful about that store-bought you know, commercial bread, that's really, really important. So there is an issue with the amount of iodine we're getting. It's something we all need to look at. Now, let's talk about radiation. Everybody around a nuclear plant is actually given potassium iodide to protect their thyroid from getting radiated. Well, if you talk to the experts, they say, well, you know, really, if you get a nuclear event where there's a leakage and radiation exposure, you know, your thyroid definitely is the first thing to go because it's so sensitive to toxic chemicals, but everything is going to get irradiated. So potassium iodide, all that really does is it just saturates your, your thyroid. So the thyroid is so saturated, it can't take up radioactive iodine. So it can't actually be harmed by, or hopefully not harmed by the radiation. But What's really interesting is there's two types of iodine, iodide and molecular iodine. And iodide is really specific for your skin and for your thyroid. The skin and your thyroid uptake iodide. 
but molecular iodine, which is stuff that you swab on cuts like the providine iodine, when you, you do that kind of thing, that's called molecular iodine, and it's a little bit different. And that is where the research really comes in. And at LifeSpot, our product, LifeSpot um, Iodine HP, is half iodine, half iodide, which is, makes all the difference in the world. And the research on iodine sort of blew my mind when it comes to radiation. They found out that the iodine, first the iodide protects your thyroid, period. That's all it does. But the iodine, what it does is it actually um, has been shown to protect your cells from DNA damage. It's been shown to increase, increase stem cell activation for tissue repair. It's been shown to act as a powerful antioxidant and increase apoptosis, which is timed cellular death. So if a cell gets damaged, it's supposed to die. But if it doesn't die, it can actually cause more harm by being sort of half functional. And it also supports molecular iodine, supports healthy cell replication, which is really important. And it's specific. The iodine is specific for the breast, for the prostate, for the colon, and the nervous system. And it's also been shown to protect the thyroid too, which even though that uptakes iodide, but the, but the iodine protects all the cells in the body from cellular damage and DNA damage, which I think was just sort of amazing research to know that really what you want is not just iodide to flood your thyroid. You want some iodine to give you that other protective benefit against the damage, the cellular damage or the DNA damage, which is really important. The other thing that I found when I dug into this research where I was just blown away by was the fact that iodine protects us from metabolic syndrome. What's metabolic syndrome? Well, if you're a deficient in iodine, you're more at risk for that syndrome, which is high cholesterol, high triglycerides, low HDL levels, abdominal fat, and, um, and, and, and high blood pressure and high blood sugar. And in a study with 3,000 healthy Chinese adults, they found that there was an inverse relationship between low iodine and metabolic syndrome. So in other words, if your iodine was low, your risk for metabolic syndrome, the things I just mentioned, was dramatically increased. In a study with the National Health and Examination Survey, a really big thing they do in America, and they've been doing it for, for, for decades now, they measured 2,400 uh, adults, uh, average age around 56 years old, they found that low iodine levels, deficiency in iodine, was linked to increased cardiovascular disease. Like, no one tells you that iodine can actually help your heart and protect you from cardiovascular disease, but the research is there. Another study using the same survey of 2,400 people, low iodine was, was shown to increase the risk of high cholesterol, uh, um, high LDL cholesterol, and low uh, HDL cholesterol, which is the good cholesterol. And another study, which I thought was really interesting, it was with 4,500 adults who had diabetes, and they found of those folks that had diabetes, 40% of them were iodine deficient. 52% of those folks who had diabetes um, had stopped taking um, iodized salt, were not taking any iodized salt, and they also found that they had increased risk of kidney issues, which are a side effect, uh, a downstream side effect from, from um, diabetes. So, uh, really, really important information about iodine. Please go to the article at lifespot.com. What I urge is actually my patients to take is one iodine HP per day, which means the bottle has 90 capsules that'll last you years, but you just have that basic support to give you that protection. And you can amp that up if there was ever a nuclear event. But once every two weeks, give you that shrimp dinner and that benefit of iodine, just what you need to give you that protection that you need without overdoing it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this article. Please, like, again, check out the article. Check out the website, lifespot.com while you're there. Sign up for our newsletter so you don't miss any of these videos or articles. And while you're there on your way out, check out our Ayurvedic store. All right, thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John DR. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and share. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.